And you said it brings in on a good month five hundred dollars. Yes. The interest that's accrued on this card is five hundred dollars on a monthly basis in the business. Right. How do we have a twenty one thousand six hundred ninety dollar balance on a business that brings in on a good year, a good year, a good year six thousand dollars according to your numbers? Yes. So I was paying those payments out of pocket. Uh, well, what even was the twenty one thousand six hundred ninety dollars though? I started getting into live streaming and wanted to make a bigger jump because it was doing really well. And we bought a bunch of equipment. And then after I bought $3,000 worth of equipment that was ready to pay that off, I was, this was back in 2021. I was dipping my toes into crypto mining. This is where I'm going to get judged. Don't dip. No dipping. There, you yeah, don't well, need no. to dip. Yeah. It, and it felt like a very comfortable dip for a little bit. And then it very quickly became a not very comfortable dip. And I got my coworker in into it as well balance of on a business credit card because i bought the equipment on the credit card what equipment is twenty one thousand six hundred ninety dollars graphics cards oh really nice ones kill me yeah i that one so what happened there is so you got i got i got two graphics cards one that i fully paid off in cash and then the other one that i put on the card okay there's what what uh, 4090 is not twenty one thousand dollars the 3090s at the time were really hard to get a hold of so they were like three thousand a piece but you don't get them because they're not worth three thousand dollars you're absolutely correct they're not not especially not anymore and i got my coworker in the time i was telling him about all of this and he dipped in 20 grand for himself not from my business from his own thing getting a bunch of graphics cards and i was like hey man you should probably slow down this is the, this isn't a, a great idea for crypto and then, mining yes yeah and then again he this is this got me this is your it. production company business card this makes no sense to me this makes no sense you're yes i i fucked up and that was a that one is really really on me for that and that's why I am also fully responsible for paying off that card. When did you realize you f***ed up? Uh, about the time that Ethereum crashed. Okay, and when was that? Eight months ago. So you realized you f***ed up eight months ago, yet you only have about four, $300 you can spend on this card before it's maxed out. Correct. What did you do in the last six months, my dude? So when we merged finances and moved into the house, I redid the budget because the budget was really tight at the time because I wasn't making what I make now. And we, on average, had about three or $400 left over in a month. And then the credit cards kept on climbing up. And a couple months ago, I, after really trying to push for it. climbing up, though? You budgeted. Right. Uh, when I was budgeting, and this is the important lesson that I learned here, is when you're budgeting, include interest on whatever's not been paid off yet because the interest was making it so that any time that I was trying to pay anything off, I wasn't actually paying anything off. I was just climbing myself well, into more you, debt. You don't try to get out of a bunch of the debts at once. You focus on one at a time. Yes. And then you minimum monthly payment on the other. Yes. Whether you're avalanching or snowballing, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so three or four months ago, I really like hunkered down and gotten this. That's why I have this okay, budget three, that I ago. sent. And started actually like, hey, this is a problem. Sat down with my girlfriend and went, hey, we have a really big problem. Like a really big problem. Yeah. 